Jimmy Carter breaks ranked players should stand, Obama let us down, didn't vote for Hillary. Jimmy Carter is arguably one of the worst presidents in history. However, even a broken clock is right twice a day. But don't worry, the MSM isn't about to cover those moments. When one of their own breaks ranks and sheds some truth on prominent issues, the MSM excels at cherry-picking their coverage. In a recent interview with the New York Times, Carter expressed interest in heading to North Korea for a sit-down with the maniacal Kim Jong-un, and the press ate it up. They would just love for a Democrat to come to the rescue and save us all from that crazy President Trump. No word yet if Trump is going to take Carter up on his offer, though I'm not holding my breath. What the MSM decided not to focus on, were several other, unpopular things their beloved peanut farmer said. The MSM has chosen to ignore the statements he made that were not in line with the liberal agenda they are force-feeding us day after day. So, here is what you may not have heard. At 93, Jimmy Carter is cutting loose. The former president sat down with the New York Times recently and chatted about all kinds of subjects. The Times decided to play up the fact that Carter, one of the worst presidents in U.S. history, would love to go over to North Korea as an envoy. But the Times is steadily proving how out of touch it is, and how it no longer seems to actually get what real news is. Here are some major highlights from the interview. 1. The Russians didn't steal the 2016 election. Carter was asked did the Russians purloin the election from Hillary? I don't think there's any evidence that what the Russians did changed enough votes, or any votes, Carter said. So the hard-left former president doesn't think the Russians stole the election? Take note, Capitol Hill Democrats. 2. We didn't vote for Hillary. Carter and his wife, Rosalind, disagreed on the Russia question. In the interview, she looked over archly, and said they obviously did purloin the election. Rosie and I have a difference of opinion on that, Carter said. Rosal and then said, the drip 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 about Hillary. Which prompted Carter to note that during the primary, they didn't vote for Hillary Clinton. We voted for Sanders. 3. Obama fell far short of his promises. Barack Obama whooshed into office on pledges of delivering hope and change to the country, spilled by partisan politics. He didn't. In fact, he made it worse. He made some very wonderful statements, in my opinion, when he first got in office, and then he reneged on that, he said about Obama's action on the Middle East. 4. Media harder on Trump than any president. A recent Harvard study shows that 93% of new coverage about President Trump is negative. But here's another shocker, Carter defended Trump. I think the media have been harder on Trump than any other president certainly that I've known about, Carter said. I think they feel free to claim that Trump is mentally deranged and everything else without hesitation. 5. NFL players should stand during the American anthem. Carter, who joined the other four living ex-presidents on Saturday for a hurricane fundraiser, put his hand on his heart when the national anthem played and he has a strong opinion about what NFL players should do, too. I think they ought to find a different way to object, to demonstrate, he said. I would rather see all the players stand during the American anthem. Don't get me wrong, it's not like Carter has become a Trump supporter or anything even close. But it is interesting to see one of the left leaders not toe the party line. Carter is surprisingly candid in his criticisms of his fellow Democrats and honest in his evaluation of the media. Perhaps wisdom comes with age. At 93, Carter is seeing things a little differently. And, maybe he just speaks what he believes and doesn't have to care about what anyone else thinks. We aren't about to hear in the MSM when Democrats start ripping on each other. Whatever is happening, sometimes common sense actually does rain, does rain.